The Second Epistle of Peter, Chapter 1, Part 1 In studying this chapter, note the value of growing in the knowledge of Jesus Christ, understand what is involved in the growing of the knowledge of Jesus, appreciate the importance of being reminded of things we already know, see that our faith relies on both eyewitness testimony and prophetic fulfillment. Peter addresses his second epistle to those with like precious faith, evidently the same recipients to whom he wrote his first epistle, see 2 Peter 3, 1 and 1 Peter 1, 1. 2 Peter 1, 1, Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who have obtained a like precious faith with us in the righteousness of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ. His benediction of grace and peace is bestowed in connection with the knowledge of God and Jesus, hinting at one of the main themes of this epistle. 2 Peter 1-2 Grace to you, and peace be multiplied in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Reference is then made to God's divine power as the source of all things that pertain to life and godliness. 2 Peter 1.3 Seeing that his divine power has granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and virtue including precious promises by which those who have escaped worldly lusts may now be partakers of the divine nature. 2 Peter 1.4 By which he has granted to us his precious and exceedingly great promises, that through these you may become partakers of the divine nature, having escaped from the corruption that is in the world by lust. In view of such blessings, Peter exhorts his readers to diligently abound in graces that will render them fruitful in the knowledge of Christ. 2 Peter 1, 5-8 Yes, and for this very cause, adding on your part all diligence, in your faith supply moral excellence, and in moral excellence knowledge, and in knowledge self-control and in self-control, patience, and in patience, godliness, and in godliness, brotherly affection, and in brotherly affection, love. For if these things are yours and abound, they make you to be not idle or unfruitful to the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Failure to do so would be indicative of grave spiritual malady, while diligence in doing so will endure their calling and election. Second Peter 1, 9 through 10 For he who lacks these things is blind, seeing only what is near, having forgotten the cleansing from his old sins. Therefore, brothers, be more diligent to make your calling and election sure, for if you do these things, you will never stumble. The Second Epistle of Peter, Chapter 1, Part 1, The End